It is the 23rd of the 5th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. The earthquake that struck northern Italy will affect production and export of some of the area's most internationally famous culinary delicacies, uh, the cheeses. National Farmers Group has estimated damage to agriculture in the area, one of Italy's most fertile and productive zones, at more than 200 million euros. And they're, they're going to be cleaning up from that mess for quite a while. Huge sinkhole opens in Montreal right after student protest. A four meter square sinkhole opened up in a major downtown Montreal street just hours after a massive student protest had marched over it. The protest, which detracted tens of thousands of people, had already passed and gone down another street when the four meter deep sinkhole opened up late Tuesday afternoon. Well, that's kind of spooky if you think about it. Three sinkholes open up in Prince William County, Virginia. Uh, Prince William County, Virginia, the Virginia Department of Transportation is working to repair a massive sinkhole in Prince William County. The hole opened in the middle of uh, Aden Road early Tuesday morning. Uh, they say it was one of the three sinkholes to open up within the last 24 hours. Uh, they believe heavy rain and flooding may be to blame. Thousands walked to mark a year since the deadliest tornado in decades hit Joplin, Missouri. If we all remember, it was a year ago today that Joplin was devastated, completely devastated, uh, by a major tornado. An estimated 5,000 people participated in Tuesday in a walk of unity to Joplin, Missouri, along the path of a deadly tornado that tore through the city uh, one year ago, killing 161 people. And my heart goes out to all of you. Magnitude 5.8 Bulgarian earthquake followed by 80 aftershocks, worse in region since 1917. An earthquake of a magnitude 5.7 to 5.9 struck the Bulgarian city of Pernik, 25 kilometers northwest uh, of the capital of Sofa, or Sofia. The quake, uh, the worst since um, the area since 1917, shook the country at 2.58 a.m. local time, causing walls and roofs to collapse and chimneys and plasters to fall. And uh, we all know the story. USGS earthquake magnitude 6.1, uh, Hokkaido, Japan. Um, that's north of the Fukushima incident. Uh, the, the earthquakes continue, the big earthquakes continue uh, in the Japan area. Researchers find in New Zealand more seismically unstable than previously thought. And they discovered that uh, Christchurch City was built over peat gravel uh, kind of thing, if I'm not mistaken. And very prone to uh, earthquakes. Unprecedented tsunami debris cleanup operations begins in Alaska beaches. And there's still 1.5 million tons still to arrive. Uh, break out your Geiger counters, people. Uh, don't trust uh, what the local media is telling you. Uh, definitely be on your toes, and this is just the beginning. Um, I was reading reports months ago where they were uh, estimating that this debris could be so thick that it will block major harbors to major cities along the west coast of the United States uh, for the next while to come yet. Um, this mess is far, far from over. Dead fish pile up in Mula Motha Banks in India. Um, let's say apparently a bunch of tilapia washed up. I'm talking thousands and thousands of fish. Um, they're thinking it's due to the pollution in the river. And over to the watchers. Magnitude 6 point earthquake uh, off of Hakido, Japan. A major geomagnetic storm, KP5, now in progress. Earth has entered a high-speed solar wind stream and is causing geomagnetic activity at high latitudes. And again, the pretty, pretty lights in the northern southern hemispheres. Uh, thousands, oh, there's the fish killed. Record flood of Rio Negro, the largest Amazon tributary. The largest Amazon River tributary has marked its highest historical level flowing weeks of heavy rain. Um, the Rio Negro crested on Wednesday, last Wednesday, registering 97.7 feet or 29.78 meters. Uh, the top nearly eclipsed the high mark. Wow. A population of 1.6 million people. Tropical storm 
Sanvu, S-A-N-V-U, is on track to become the first typhoon in 2012. Uh, scientists have found more than 150,000 sites in the Arctic where methane is seeping into the atmosphere. And again, this is reports continuing from last year where the Russians found uh, literally bubbles coming out of the ocean spread over thousands of miles. Uh, where methane is escaping into the atmosphere where it used to be trapped in, under the ice and uh, filtered a little bit before it got out. And uh, so the, the problem compounds and continues. Um, tropical Storm Bud could develop into the first hurricane of the eastern Pacific tropical season. It's off the coast of Mexico. And the FDA accused of mass homicide of one million Americans each decade. Now check it out. The biggest threat to America today is not terrorists or global warming, but, but the mass genocide of Americans who die every year at the hands of the corrupt U.S. Food and Drug Administration. In a recent report, investigated reporter John Rapport uncovers the dirty truth the FDA-approved drugs kill at least 100,000 people every single year. The FDA actually lists this figure, figure on their own website, and the agency is doing absolutely nothing about it. Uh, something very big to think about uh, when you go to get your prescription filled. They are not checking this stuff. And that's about all new they've got going on over to the nuclear stuff any news real quick uh upi fukushima spent fuel pool a source of growing concern calls for more efforts to empty and secure unit 4 continue in japan and beyond and tepco says they're not going to do anything they're still on track for the 2015 uh clean update on on number four uh, but from what i've seen um they're dragging their butt and going home on the weekends intense m6 uh, magnitude 6 quake hits Japan. Caldecott, the, the, the corium hasn't finished and will never finish. I think it means the end of Japan financially. Uh, Gorbachev said it himself uh, when the end of the Soviet Union. Uh, what killed the Soviet Union was Chernobyl and the financial ramifications from that. Uh, Japan has seen nothing, nothing yet, no matter how hard they try. Uh, they can't stop the truth from leaking out of what is Fukushima. U.S. government maps show radioactive particles took direct route to Tokyo after number three exploded. And they've hidden this fact. And you got to remember, uh, the Americans pulled everybody out of Tokyo uh, when all this was going on, and CNN even wouldn't stay. Uh, they knew. They knew exactly what was going on. Exposed World Health Organization beholden to nuclear interests. It's like having Dracula guard the blood bank. And that is irony if I've ever seen it. Japan researchers believe reactor number one filled with steam. Gas leaking from upper part. This is the one where they discovered the water level is even lower uh, than the water level on number two. I think they're talking 40 centimeters. And uh, they're, say they're still saying that the fuel is properly cooled. Uh, that's probably because the fuel's not there anymore. Uh, it's way underneath. And uh, they keep dumping water into this thing. And the insanity continues. Uh, the Australian catastrophic radiation contamination at Rice Field, 60 kilometers, for, kilometers from Fukushima Daiichi, no crop for at least 300 years. Farmer now living in Queensland, and uh, they are converting uh, sugarcane fields in, in uh, Australia into traditional Japanese rice fields um, so the Japanese can supply a, a, a staple food source for their people. Uh, in a traditional kind of way. Um, so Japanese farmers from the Fukushima prefecture are heading to Australia as we speak right now and uh, they're planting rice. Film shows enraged Japanese public about to explode at its leaders. In the news, residents block radioactive debris delivery. Only two towns support restart of Oi nuclear power plant. Acceptance has failed. Actor says help from outside the country is needed. So all my people in the choir that I'm preaching to you, post your videos, 
Fukushima on the titles. Help out Kevin Blanche and let him know that you're pissed off too. And uh, we need to get a hold of this situation. And if that means getting all of our nuclear debris here in the United States into Yucca Mountain, uh, where we've spent billions and billions of dollars over the last few decades um, to develop this site for just such purpose, and has been blocked by corrupt local officials in Nevada. Um, we can alleviate some of the worries um, that the Japanese people now face uh, because the, the spent nuclear fuel pools just sitting in the reactors here in the United States have been there a lot longer. And there's a lot more of it. <clears throat> so we need to be aware of just how grave our situation truly is. Uh, we need to wake up and stand up now. Because if you don't stand up now, we're not going to have a chance later. And for all my political Ron Paul followers and the people still stuck in the left-right paradigm, you can't vote if you're dead. Enjoy why you can, everybody. Thanks.